Alright guys, this is going to be a review of the JVC HD waterproof camera. If you want to go ahead and check out the unboxing video I did of this camera right here, I'll post a link down below if you want to go ahead and check out the where I bought this camera, which was on Amazon. If I can still find that link, I'll go ahead and post that down below as well. But first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is give you a little quick tour around the camera, show you what's on it and all the crazy stuff, all the ports and stuff. So right here you have a lens. This is a real basic lens. There's nothing fancy about this lens. It is not a zoom lens. It isn't optical or anything like that. This is all digital. So there is no optical zoom. There's only digital on this camera. Um, this lens right here is similar to a lens that you would find on a, a smartphone or something like that. So it is a real basic lens. Um, down here you have the little tripod mount right down here. So you can't put this on any kind of tripod. Um, this is a standard mount. Right here you have your little lanyard right there that came with the camera. Over here you have a little waterproof door. It also tells you everything that's inside the door. Go over here, press down in this little latch, opens up, door opens. Flip it over right here. The first thing you see is a headphone slash AV port. That AV port um, allows you to take it and plug it into the TV so you can see all your video on the TV. The headphone part is so you can go ahead and plug in your headphones and you can actually go ahead and monitor um, what your audio um, thing is recording so you can actually see how the audio sounds that's what that right there is for and you can also use that for playing back the video if you just want to hear it with headphones in, instead of the speakers that are built in then right here you have the little SD card slot there's an SD card inside it goes up to 16 gig class 6 it does take the high capacity one so that's kind of cool right here you have a USB slash charger so that um, does all your data transfers and it also charges the device as well. You can use it and charge it at the same time, which is kind of cool. Most cameras don't do that. Right here you have a little mini HDMI. That mini HDMI um, does not, it doesn't come with an adapter or a cable. So you do have to buy the cable or an adapter separately if you want to go ahead and use that mini HDMI. So go ahead and close the door. Let's flip it over. Right over here you have a little power button. Lights up green when the power is on. Um, right here you have a little screen lock slash hold button right there so you go ahead and press that it holds it and it locks the screen as well right here you have a little button that allows you to switch between taking a video and taking a picture so that's the little quick switch button right here you have a little shutter button that allows you to either take a picture or take a video um, then right over here let's go ahead and talk about the screen you have a 3.5 inch screen right here this is resistive touch. This is not capacitive touch. Um, basically what that means is that this isn't the one that you find in your smartphone. This is not that real sensitive touch screen. This is the kind of one that you actually have to kind of push on to get it to respond, which can be kind of frustrating and sometimes, but it does work and it does do, it does do its job. Um, right here, let's go ahead and turn it on. Button lights up green. Pixio comes up on the screen. Wait for that load. A cool thing about this camera is that it does take you into the last mode that you were in when you turn the camera on, so it's kind of cool. What you're seeing here is the audio mode, so you can go ahead and record um, audio with this camera, which is kind of cool. Some cameras don't have this at all, um, so it is kind of useful. The microphones that are on this camera are pretty good. They also are waterproof as well, so you can actually record yourself underneath the water if you really wanted to do that. Um, on top of that, if you go ahead and press this button right here, it takes you back into the main menu, which is what you're seeing right here. This is the main menu. You got your three different things to choose from, and then you got your play button. That is to um, replay all the stuff that you just recorded. And then right over here, you have your settings. You have your battery life, your the time, and the mode that you're in. And it tells you right there record. So this is all record mode. First thing I want to go ahead and do is take you to the Video settings inside the video settings, you have your HD 1080p um, re record mode, and right here you have your 720p HD. Right here, you have a couple other modes. Then, down here at the bottom, you have your time lapse as well, it goes to 0 0.5, 5 seconds, or 40 seconds. Then, right here, you can go ahead and press the up button right up here, and then it takes you back to the main menu. Right here, you have your picture mode loads it is kind of a slow camera so that is something that you might want to consider um, but right here this is your picture mode basically 
You have all your picture settings in here. You have the zoom in, zoom out. This is a digital zoom, no optical. Right here you have your little bit of effects right there. You have your um, face tracking mode that allows you to track somebody's face if you want to do that. Um, right here you have your little timer. And right here you press that, that's it. That is a screen rotate button. So it allows you to rotate the screen like this. So you can take a picture in the wide mode as well. It does not do that in video. It only does that in picture mode, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, press that, it takes you back to the main menu. Let's go ahead and look at the video mode next. Inside the video mode is also really basic. It just allows you to record video. That's your little preview screen right there. At the top, you have a screen that tells you how much time you have left. I mean, not how much time you have on the memory card. Right here tells you how much time you have left that you have used. Um, right here, you have a little thing for your audio to raise or lower it. You have your zoom in, zoom out, um, record. Um, um, track somebody's face or whatever and then right here you have your settings go down here again takes you back to the main menu over here you have your play press that it takes you back to take to your replay screen basically this allows you to play all of the stuff that you have captured so let's go ahead and check out the video there is no videos in here right now it actually tells you that no files right down the screen but this is where all your videos will be put at if you ever want to go back and review them at a later point or time. Um, go ahead and press the record. It takes you back to the record mode. Settings is pretty basic. There's not a lot of settings on here. Um, it does allow you to update. That update is for the software, I think. Let me go ahead and double check that real quick. Is it? No, the software update is right here. The PC software, what that's for the actual software they use to edit the videos with is on the camera. So you don't need to actually go ahead and buy any type of third party software to edit the videos and post them like on YouTube or something like that. The, the video editing software is already on the camera so you won't have like any disc or anything like that inside the, inside the box when you get it. Um, you are, it does come with a, a USB cable, so you just go ahead and take this, plug it into your computer. As soon as you plug it in, the software is just come up. So that's what that update software is for right there. It does support the Wi-Fi SD cards. So if you do have access to one of those cameras, you can just go inside the settings and just turn that on. Right now I have it turned off because I don't have access to one of those. But if you do have one, you go ahead and put it inside here and it will automatically just, up, it will automatically just upload all of the pictures and videos straight onto like YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. So that's kind of cool right there. Go ahead and press the back button. Takes you back to the main screen. The video quality of this camera is pretty decent. It's not the best video quality you're going to find on the camera like this. Um, if you have a smartphone already and you're not going to be going underneath the water, don't buy this camera. You, you don't need it. Um, this camera basically gives you the same video quality as a smartphone. So if you already have a smartphone, don't buy this camera. You're set. You're good. You don't need this camera. If you're going to be going underneath the water and you want a cheap camera just to take pictures and video underneath the water and stuff like that, you might want to consider picking this up because it is waterproof down to 3 meters and 10 feet. So that might be useful to you if you're that type of person. But if you're not, don't spend the money. You have a smartphone, just use that and just download like a free app that allows you to take pictures and take video or whatever. And most phones these days come with that app already on there, so you don't really have to worry about that. But is it a good camera for the price? Yes, it's not that bad. Do you have to buy it? No, you don't. Only buy it if you're going underneath the water. So that's that. That's what I think about this camera. It's a good camera, but only buy it if you're going underneath the water. Um, that's going to be it for this video review. If you want to go ahead and check out more, go ahead and click on that little subscribe button. It will update you with more videos that I put out every week or two. Um, if you want to go ahead and favorite this video, go ahead and do that. If you want to go ahead and like this video, go ahead and do that. If you want to go ahead and leave a comment, go ahead and do that as well. But that's going to be it for this video. Peace out.